Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time since I came on here and talked about a book. But yeah, I'm here now and I think this is my first video for 2021. I thought of doing a January wrap up but, but then I thought it's way past time for that. So I thought I'll just discuss one of the books that I found really interesting from my January reads. The book that I'm talking about is a classic which is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The Picture of Dorian Gray is a gothic novel and it reminds me a lot of this play called Dr. Foster's which if you haven't read it's extremely interesting so you definitely should. So the play deals with the, this man Foster's, Dr. Foster's who um, sells his soul to the devil to become like immortal or something. I read it a long time back but yeah that's the basic um, that pact that he makes with the devil. Um, the plot of Dorian Gray is also very similar. So there's this very young and very good looking, like extremely good looking um, guy called Dorian Gray who's also very innocent and not very aware of um, his own charm and beauty. Um, but then there's this another character, Lord Henry, who kind of instills him in, in Dorian Gray um, these hedonistic worldviews and kind of makes him feel that, you know, there's nothing... Um, more important than beauty and how short-lived one's youth and one's beauty is beauty is and how he's going to um, regret once he grows old because he'll not look as good as he does and all those things and that kind of corrupts Dorian Gray and um, you know there's this another friend who's like a morally good person which is Basil Hallward who's a painter and he like um, he finds um, an inspiration of another level in Dorian Gray and he paints his portraits and once um, you know Dorian Gray is kind of manipulated by Lord Henry um, about this beauty and everything and then he sees one of his portraits painted by Basil and he gets jealous of his very own portrait because it would never get old it would always stay as young as um, it looks and while he would grow old and he would not always look as good as the portrait would do so he becomes jealous and he kind of um, makes a wish out in the universe that um, he never grows old and instead of him the painting grows old and as it turns out that actually happens so that's kind of the major plot of the entire novel so now as he continues on to um, he continues to indulge in sinful pleasures and he still stays as young and as charming as ever, as youthful as ever, whereas the portrait starts to um, degrade and look really, really hideous. Like, um, the more his soul cor gets corrupted, the, the worse the portrait starts looking. So obviously the book deals a lot with the themes of morality and sins and good and evil and... Um, idealistic beauty and all those aspects but what interests me the most is that even when he um, Dorian Gray indulges in um, any pleasure that he wants uh, he, he does anything that he wants um, uh, and 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 he doesn't see the phys physical manifestations of it on his own face and body then what is it what is it that disturbs, still disturbs him so much? Because when you read the book, you will get to know that, um, you know, after a point uh, when he sees the portrait and, and how ugly and disgusting it looks, it kind of disturbs him. So this is something very interesting and you kind of are forced to um, also look within yourself and ask yourself questions. And if um, his own physical beauty was all that really mattered to him, why does the realization that his soul is corrupted um, beyond repair, why does that realization um, hits him hard? So these are questions that I have found myself asking. I'm sure a lot of other people who read the book asked themselves and that is what makes the book very interesting. And uh, you know naturally then again you're um, forced to look into questions of what's morally good. What, what does it mean to be morally good and why is it really important? And another thing that it's it, that's very interesting that we kind of know but um, you, can, you realize it um, more after reading the book is that how uh, one's actions and deeds and also intentions 
they kind of show on your face so yeah that's something very very interesting to me so all in all i really enjoyed reading the book um it's not very lengthy and the language is also pretty easy i really enjoyed it it has um so many um world views to explore so many perspectives to see life through and kind of judge for yourself um what's good what's bad it it makes you question the very basic concepts of um good and bad and um sin uh and why um like why morals and ethics are important and how do they impact us not just emotionally but also physically so all this is extremely interesting and obviously um you know lately i have uh, discovered that i really like gothic novels and this is a gothic novel obviously so if you are also a fan of gothic novels then again this is something for you i just i think um it's it's very it's a very interesting book and almost everyone will enjoy it so i definitely recommend it so that was it for today's video um on the picture of dorian gray by oscar wilde i hope you re um enjoyed this video and if you did do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so whenever i post any other bookish video you will be notified you can also follow me on instagram my instagram handle as always will be mentioned over here and the link to reach my profile will be in my description box so you click there reach my profile and follow me over there i'll see you in my next video bye